All right, so I'm going to make a quick video on some of the things that I've done to fix EA's EA Origins um, friends list. Oh my gosh, I just lifted my mic right out of its stand. So basically, I've had this a couple times where um, my friends won't appear online in my friends list. Something like this, they all show offline like that, which is really kind of annoying, right? Because you know they're online. They even, you know, they're in Discord with you or whatever, and they're saying, "Hey, I'm online. Can you join the game?" Or join me and it just doesn't work so there's a couple things that I've tried to get it working I know um, the end of January which is when I'm making this video I do know that origin did something with this beta thing so you can see the beta option top right corner right here and what they're doing between I think the 27th and the 31st or something like that if you're in the beta mode you can't communicate or see online uh, players that are online if they're not in beta and vice versa so um, if you've got so but I've also noticed that I wasn't in the beta and my buddy wasn't in the beta and we couldn't see each other so we both switched over to beta at the same time and now we can see each other on the friends list which is kind of stupid um, but the other thing that people have done there's a couple things one um, somebody said that if you add if you add them to Steam as well as origin that works I'm not quite sure how that happens I think it's because now it uses Steam for the online status maybe I don't know but I, I haven't tried that particular method so that is one the other one is that you can literally just go here and go to origin and say go offline and then you just click the go online button again let it connect and then check and see if your friends list is, is active um, the other thing that I've done is this beta thing so let me show you that one you just go to origin application settings and if you scroll down here you can see participate in origin client betas and that'll be turned off so the key for this one though is after you turn it on you're going to need to completely close out the origin app so right click on this thing and say quit origin and then reopen origin and hopefully that'll um, switch you to beta have your buddy do that as well whoever you're trying to play with and if they're both in beta you should be able to see each other um, another thing that I've disabled is this right here, this origin helper service, because even if the origin thing isn't running, it still has like this origin web helper service running in the background, and I hate that kind of junk. So um, I, I turned that particular one off. That's not related to the issue. I'm just messing because I don't like that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing that people have suggested is going on the friends list and removing your current friend, whatever whoever you want to play with. So you're going to sit there and say unfriend and then inf and then friend them back. And I guess in some scenarios that has worked. And the final one that I've heard that works for fixing this particular issue with Origin EA is you go to your your computer and you say dollar sign program data dollar sign and you go find the origin folder and you delete this whole thing. And my only concern with this one would be make sure you delete the right folder. Don't delete, delete program data. Just delete this origin one. It's not a very large one, so you can see it's only like a couple hundred megs. And I think it's just it's just like configuration or state, rather, of the origin agent. When I deleted this, so first you also have to close the origin app. You can't delete it while the origin app is running, so you have to close all that out. I deleted it when I reopened origin and I tried to play Apex again. It said that it had to do an immediate update on Apex, and I think what it might be doing is just checking to make sure the files are accurate. So I think that origin folder probably holds like maybe hashes or something of all the or the apex content just to make sure you're not cheating and can hash against some core components of that game that's my guess i don't know maybe it may be something to do with caching as well but if it's really caching it's not that much caching right if we're playing a game like apex it's 30 gigs and you're caching the game which is like this repository for quickly accessed things how the heck is the, th the repository for the cache of that only 360 megs when the game itself is 30 gigs that to me doesn't make sense so the caching must be something to do with game state and maintaining um, game and data and uh, game program integrity or something like that so um, so that's basically it those are the, the steps that I've used to get EA to work correctly it worked with for me to play with my buddy tonight and um, that's it hope you guys enjoyed hope this was helpful